In this example, we're interested in finding the height of tide at a particular time on the 16th of October. So that we're not referring back and losing track of where we are all the time, it's normally best to write down the tide times and heights on a separate sheet of paper, as I've done here, that you can carry with you throughout your calculations. Once you've done that, because we're working on Victoria tides, we need to turn to the curve for Victoria. You'll notice that the curve for Victoria goes up towards the centre with high water in the centre of it. In most cases, you'll find that tidal curves work this way around. It's not always the case, and in the training almanac, if you turn to look at Dumbarton, you can see that this one's the other way around with low water in the middle. The curve's the other way around, and you'll see it refers to low water. This is relatively rare, but it's worth looking out for as the calculation or the method is slightly different. Now, looking at our high and low water times for the 16th of October, we're interested to find the height of tide at a particular time in the late afternoon. We know that the tide is going to be 2.1 metres at 4.21, and we know that it's going to be 4.9 metres at 34 minutes past 8 in the evening. But what about the times in between? So the first thing we do, looking at our curve for Victoria, is we start marking up the times at the bottom here. You can see that this is high water, so the high water time was 8.34. So we write 8.34 in this space here. And as we're interested in the time before that, late afternoon, we can go back one hour at a time in each of these boxes. So 19.34, 18.34, 21.34, 4 and 16, 34 and so on. Now between these two times you can see that the low tide was 2.1 meters and the high tide was 4.9 meters. We then come to this part of the table along this scale here we mark the low water height. So the low water height was 2.1, we put a quick mark there. And the high water along this scale here, 4.9 is marked here. With a ruler, and we can use the straight edge of the plotter, we join these two line points up with a straight line. This is now our curve set up for this particular day and on this particular tide. So this is for the late afternoon on the 16th of October. Now if we want to know the height of the tide at say 17.34, that's three hours before high water, we then find that on the base here. We go up. Until we get to the line. Now at this point, we have a choice of using a red line or sometimes there's a blue line. And those refer to whether it's a neap or a spring. In this case, there's only one line, so we'll use that one line. We come across until we hit our new straight line we've drawn. And then we have a choice of going up or down. In this case, it's more practical to go up as the scale extends across to that point. And then we can read off this scale. And at that point, it's reading 3.7 meters. So at 17.34, we expect there to be 3.7 meters of tide.